Angel Reese came out and said that she doesn't make enough money from playing for the WNBA. If the, her only source of income was from her playing, it wouldn't barely cover the cost of her expenses. And some people may say, well, you got to scale back or do this. But as long as they've been around the WNBA, the popularity, why do they have the most broke down uh, possible situations for uh, economic, how they support them? I mean, when the bubble was around and the women's dorm was really janky. I mean, it was just a hole in the wall. It was like a super eight. And it's a shame because you get the same, sometimes they're playing in the same buildings as their male counterparts, but they get treated in the most di downplayed ways. Um, Angel Reese is considered controversial, outspoken, but she's a really good player, rookie. And she's uh, a, a, a basketball figure that is known. So it's not like somebody that is not known. And you would think that would mean more money. That's the salary state of affairs, the penny pension reality of what was created by the men's WNBA. Because David Stern, they used to put salary caps. That's why they've had those stops and strikes and all the stuff that they've implemented. And Adam Silver, they've all been in on it. They've all been on some kind of work stoppage or some mess that they've done. Because, But they got the TV revenue, so it makes no sense. If you're going to watch Angel Reese against Caitlin Clark or against Audra Wilson or somebody that's big and prominent, you got TV revenue. You have a deals with ESPN. You have um, viewership. You have commercials. That is what sells the game, not the fans in the stands. They don't even need fans in the stands. It's the merch and from the commercials. So this, we poor, but we proud antics is tiring, but... That's how they get over on people. That's the sad reality of how they get over on folks. And that's the sad reality when, she, you know. Now, you can say she may be living beyond her means. I don't know. She's very young right now. And she's not compartmentalizing like that. And she shouldn't have to really at this juncture because she's just starting out. But, is, but she does carry weight and title. And can you imagine carrying weight and title and they don't pay the money? And she's in a big market. She's not in Iowa. She ain't in Idaho. She's playing for Chicago. Think about what you're playing at, the market. So if you're playing in a big market, uh, you know, you got no excuse for to be so cheap. But that's what they've done. And they've always treated the WWE like a tax write-off. Even though, and that's their fault for not promoting it more. It really is. Why ain't the big brother not promoting it more? Why is it this deduction when it should be seen and it should be taken as a business that is respected, not as just some tax write-off or not as something that you just, oh, well, that's just what that is and we just look the other way. That's that's an insult to injury. So I got a problem with that and I would think that people that are fans of it would have a problem with it too. But anyway, that's my thoughts and my takes about that because she should be getting, you know, should definitely be getting to live on. I mean, what kind of, kind of means is that with the way they, because when you take all the expenses out, it don't even add up. But anyway, please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share the video if you like. Please hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay woke. Stay free. Stay full and stay aware. And again, it makes no sense. We talk about inequality all the time, especially when she's a name and a quantity that they've pushed and the agenda on, and she should still be getting money to cover expenses. I'm out one time.